A live look at Mount Hamilton, a little hard to make out from this vantage point, but our storm ranger is picking up some snow up there. Very cool. It's one of several places expected to see accumulations over the next 24 hours. We start our team coverage right now. We'll get to meteorologist Kerry Hall in just moments, but first let's start out with NBC Bay Area's Pete Serratos. He's live in Redwood City with more on the winds that are still having a big impact on folks there. Um, is the power out in the area where you are, Pete? Oh, definitely, Laura. Yeah, a lot, all the powers out here uh, along, or at least a majority of the powers out for most of these buildings here in front of the Woodside Plaza in Redwood City. And as you mentioned, that number for the peninsula of uh, 44,000 people without power. Of course, Redwood City hit hard by this. Want to show you uh, this area where those traffic lights are out. Now, this is, of course, one of the many power outages on this road. Uh, as I mentioned, the shopping plaza next to me, pretty much everything with the exception of a grocery store and a hardware store are without power power. So a tough night for locals dealing uh, with the wind, dealing with the cold temperatures, uh, especially at nighttime where it was very cold and they didn't have the power. So uh, here's what locals are saying um, about those conditions. Um, it was supposed to be on at 5 a.m. this morning. Last night was a camp out for my dad and my husband. Fireplace going on, lights, candles on. I mean, it's ridiculous. And we're from the island, so it's heck of warm. I mean, no tropical to freezing last night. It was really bad. So we're fortunate enough to have a generator that will run the front registers. And obviously, when there's a power outage, we're probably the first place you want to go for batteries, flashlights, things like that. So during any kind of natural disaster, weather, or anything we stay open now here's some video from when we were driving in along the 84 yet again another tree down uh, we've seen this issue of course since last night due to those high winds but crews were cleaning it up and getting it out of the way now as far as the kaiser and redwood city we know that some of those non-medical offices did lose power but there was no impact to patients but some locals here uh, they say they've been notified that power may be restored by this afternoon but i did reach out to pg and e they did not confirm that only telling me that they are working as fast as possible to get power restored to to this area. Reporting live in Redwood City, Pete Serratos, NBC Barry and News. All right, Pete, thanks. Okay, look, meteorologist Kerry Hall, of course, been monitoring this. I know the question a lot of those people have, when is this all going to blow out of our way? <laughs> well, Literally. Still, yeah, <laughs> no, it's going to be very cold, and the wind is starting to calm down a little bit. It's not as windy as it was yesterday when that cold front first arrived, but now we're starting to see the precipitation. So as we look from the South Bay toward Mount Hamilton, it is coated with a light dusting of snow out out there and we've also started to see some light snow showers in the Santa Cruz mountains as well. So we are going to see for elevations above 1500 feet a little bit of some snow coming down, but that could also make for some dangerous travel, especially for some of those areas as we go into tomorrow morning that are going to deal with some of this wet weather. But we haven't seen a lot of it for the valleys. We are expecting the winds to calm down. They've already dropped the high wind warning. The wind advisor will be allowed to expire at one o'clock today, but we're still looking at the possibility of more wind damage, more power outages and down trees. Even as we go into this evening, it's still going to be windy as we get those spotty showers.